What is up, YouTubers? So, we're back with another episode of FPV on the Cheap. It's episode two, actually. And this time, um, you know, things are starting to come together. Uh, last time I was telling you I was a little bit worried about all the different things not coming and the mail's not working and blah, blah, blah. Now, it's all sorted out. Got it figured out. So, this week, we're going to be reviewing or looking at um, our next cheap object for FPV. And this one's a pretty industry standard thing that a lot of guys use. And I just happen to have not picked it up yet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of this Aurora RC silicone pads that keep your batteries from slipping around. You get a bag of, I think, about 10 of them. They're probably about two inches long, uh, you know, by maybe an inch and a half wide. It's all in millimeters online, but, you know, yay, America, using the, the you know, the I don't, I mean, standard system. I, I don't know what it's called. I forget. But uh, it's not the metric system, so we're weird. But anyway, so we get these little guys, and I'm going to flip it down here to the bench, install one, and show you what it's like in about three, two, one. All right, here we are on the bench. Um, step one is always to have a messy, messy bench. I have just junk everywhere. Um, you know, so it's whatever. It's a messy bench. This is my guitar bench. This is my quad bench. This is in my man cave. I don't need to keep it clean. It's just disgusting in here all the time. Hey, look, I didn't know I had that. All right, got another one of those. So here we are, we're looking at these bad boys right here. And it's gonna really help improve your battery from sliding around. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip off this strap as I'm talking and show you guys where I'm gonna install it. Now I should probably clean this off, but I'm not going to because lazy and I don't have that pre set up and I don't really want to go and try to film this all over again even though it's only been like 30 seconds it's pretty clean so uh, usually I loop my battery strap through here so I may have to go into doing this a different way all the way around instead of in and out but I'm not concerned about that because I'll have these sticky pads that work a lot better and before you know I have my China line hobby batteries they would slide around and only the rubberized parts of this strap would be keeping it there. Not anymore. So let's do this. Let's put this on here. And I'm going to put it on and we're going to come back after the break and you'll see it. We're back again for the third time. So as you can see, I removed the sticky backing. Ooh, knocked the bench. Sorry about that. I removed the sticky backing and I got it pressed on here. I made sure the surfaces were clean. Um, it doesn't have the best connection, not because of the sticky pad, but because this had X holes. Uh, these were holes cut in the carbon fiber that kind of looked a little bit like these. And so it's on there. It's not going anywhere, but, you know, it doesn't have the best contact. But that's just something you're going to have to deal with on like 99% of frames out there. And so here, I'm going to throw on a battery. So, you know... These batteries have some plasticky kind of heat shrink on them. It's not really like the good heat shrink, but with just a little bit of pressure, I can't get this to move. Like I'm trying to slide it that way, and with just a little bit of downward force, it's not going anywhere. Oh, you saw it scoot just a little bit. That in combination with a strap, plus the strap has a good, you know, sticky side to it as well. Um, I don't think we're gonna have any problems with this, and so. You put it down right here, and it's not going anywhere. I think this has been a solid investment, you guys. I don't know if you've ever tried it. It's pretty standard out there, and I think most people do. So I think it's a good investment to get, uh, go online and get one of these. I'll end up putting the link down below. Like I said, this is FPV on the cheap, so it should be less than $5 before shipping. And if you're getting it from somewhere like Banggood or Gearbest, hopefully you're choosing the free shipping uh, free shipping option. Again, I can never make it through one of these without stumbling on something. Not like I plan them. But anyway, if you go on to one of those, you're going to get the free shipping. It'll take forever to get to you, but it'll be worth it. So FPV on the cheap. Definitely recommend this guy because it's not going anywhere. This is solid. 
Um, I'll take this out to the field maybe and I'll let you guys know if I see any sort of ejections or anything. I've had a couple of batteries eject on me but with this new pad I don't think this is going anywhere. So take it easy. Happy flying guys. Peace out. I lied to you. I forgot to tell you about next week's FPV on the cheap for episode number three. So you're back again. You're still listening. You're hanging in there. I, you know, I congratulate you if you made it this far. Next week, we're going to talk a little bit about soft mounting. And there are a ton of different soft mounts out there. But what I've done is I've gotten these little guys. They're just little rubber O-rings. And we're going to mount them on here and we're going to see if they're, if it makes any difference to me. This is quad I fly 99% of the time since I'm still trying to fix my broken one. So I'm really used to how, how it flies and we'll see if these little O-rings, these little rubber O-rings will make a difference in stabilizing it. I don't think so, but they're cheap and if it does, then they're totally worth it. Alright guys, I promise this is the end of the video. So peace out, have a good one.